Just about 923, money spent with no explanation, a bank account left off the books entirely, donation amounts inflated. And we're talking about a prominent San Antonio nonprofit, Catholic Charities. A months long defender's investigation has exposed financial problems within the agency, highlighted by audits conducted the past two years. The contents of those audits had not seen the light of day until now. Should the public be worried about Catholic Charities of San Antonio? I think so. I think compared to other Catholic charities that I'm familiar with, uh, I have not seen these kinds of problems before. Our Dylan Collier is part of the team that worked on this project. So we join him now for our reporter debrief. So first of all, what was the response of Catholic Charities to what you uncovered? It's been an interesting response. We reached out to them uh, the early part of July. CEO Antonio Fernandez on the phone said, we'll open everything up. You can come in. We've made corrections. Uh, the audit is not as bad as it appears to be. And then within a day, no interview. They would not talk on camera. We got a one-page written statement. And since then, it's sort of spiraled into him being driven away from work dodging our questions. Uh, just yesterday, hours before the part one of our investigation aired, a spokeswoman for Catholic Charities who was at a press event uh, about federal reimbursements walked away from us, refused to do any kind of interview with us, answer any of our questions, even though she did an interview with another station here, television station sure, here in town. Sure, not as transparent as one would think. Right. Uh, we're talking about a charity that's been in the news quite frequently over the past year, and many of it for good deeds, Dylan. This story is in stark contrast to that. And I think it's a very important story to tell because people donate money to them. Uh, they are part of a lot of grant mm -hmm. programs. They bring in funds for uh, dozens of different programs, not only involving uh, migrants and asylum seekers, but people that live in San Antonio and need uh, charitable donations. So I think it's very important to sort of track down how that money is being spent and whether they are following the procedures of these grants properly. And I think this audit, these last two audits, uh, indicate that is not the case. Well, has this apparent financial mismanagement cost them any funding? Yeah, the first organization to pull out has been the Texas Veterans Commission. Uh, they sent them a letter in January saying, you have material weaknesses in your last audit. So this $300,000 grant wow. for veteran assistance, this was, uh, we were told, money that went towards helping them pay rent, uh, utilities, things of that nature. TVC said, we cannot give you this money this year. We're going to have to pull out. You can try again for the next grant term, which would start next summer. You don't have to have an extensive knowledge of nonprofits to, to understand the, much of the story. And part one is absolutely fascinating. Tell right. us a little bit about part two tonight. Well, we're going to look into, from the experts we spoke to, the most troubling part of this audit, and that is a lack of proper background checks for dozens of paid volunteers in the Catholic Charities Foster Grandparent Program. Uh, these are people that were given access to children and did not have the proper background criminal check in place before having this and access. And it's a pretty extensive requirement as far as the background check Yeah, goes. you're talking about a program that uses federal funds to run, so they have had guidelines for well over a decade uh, in place, very clear guidelines that you can find. You know, we found it with a, a simple Google search mm -hmm. that if you're going to have access to a vulnerable population, children very much fall into that category. You have to have a fingerprint-based FBI criminal background check. You have to be run through the sex offender registry to see if you pop up there, as well as a state background check for the state that you're going to be part of this program in. And our research found that just, that just did not happen with Catholic Charities in San Antonio. And that's part two tonight yes. on the Night Beat. And if you missed part one, you can see it in its entirety on our website at ksat.com. Once again, great work. By the thank defenders. you. Appreciate it, Leslie. Public charity, private problems tonight on the Night Beat. Dylan, thanks. Thank you.